In 1975, we were on the way to Nepal in a Volkswagen transporter. We passed Afghanistan and took the chance to visit the Bamyan Valley in the remote Hindu Kush mountains. After climbing passes of more than 3,600 meters on gravel roads, we finally reached Bamyan with its famous Buddha statues of the 6th century. The Buddhas and monk caves were carved into the side of a cliff in the Bamyan Valley. It was the center of commerce and Buddhism in the 4th and 5th centuries. It was strategically placed to thrive from the Silk Road caravans that crisscrossed the region, trading between the Roman Empire, Han Dynasty, Central Asia and South Asia. Bamyan was a stopping off point for many travelers. It was here that elements of Greek and Buddhist art were combined into a unique classical style known as Greek Buddhist art. The most prominent Buddha statues, measuring 53 and 35 meters in height, were destroyed by the criminal, godless and ruthless Taliban. The heritage of mankind is gone forever. The lakes of Bandiamiya are the most beautiful landmarks in the mountains of the Hindu Kush in Afghanistan. The lakes are situated about 75 kilometers to the northwest of Bamyan. The six lakes lie at an altitude of about 3000 meters above sea level. The white travertine dams form the barriers between the lakes. Bandehaibat is the biggest and the deepest of the six with an average depth of about 150 meters. In 1975, the local area was only habited by a few people living in very poor conditions in mud buildings and in nomad tents.
The gravel roads of Afghanistan took their toll and after a repair in Kabul, we continued our journey to Nepal.